Here's some scary news for you. Apparently the number of hate groups operating inside of the US last year rose to an all time high. Uh, it rose 7% in 2018, the SPLC, which has tracked hate groups uh, for about 50 plus years at this point, found that there were 1,020 operating in the US last year, breaking the record of 1,018 set back in 2011. So it looks like there have been a little bit of progress in the intervening years. It's four consecutive years of growth of a variety of different hate groups. Now, they espouse a, you know, a wide range of different ideologies. They come from different parts of the political spectrum, but do not believe for one second that they are distributed evenly across either of those things. There are definitely hot spots. And the Southern Poverty Law Center, in their uh, intelligence project reporting on this, they believe that there is one reason that we reached a record last year. Heidi Birick says the numbers tell a striking story that this president is not simply a polarizing figure, but a radicalizing one. Rather than trying to tamp down hate as presidents of both parties have done, President Trump elevates it with both his rhetoric and his policies. How is that, how is that the case, rhetoric and policies? Well, we know in terms of rhetoric, like, he defends white supremacists and neo Nazis, calling them, you know, very fine people and all of that. Uh, he espouses the most Islamophobic approach to world politics in terms of bans on travel and stuff like that that I've seen in my lifetime. Um, anyone south of the southern border is automatically assumed to be some sort of criminal who is doing whatever they can to get into our country and ruin it, that thus creating more racism of that particular variety. Uh, the way that he has pro approached groups like BLM and all of that super aggressive and violent and, and radical. Um, basically, regardless of what form of hate that you uh, are a fan of in this country, you have found a champion in Donald Trump. And perhaps even more importantly, the variety of politicians that have been inspired by him. People like Steve King, who are being more open in their racism and white supremacy than ever before. You had multiple literal Nazis running in Republican primaries last year, feeling emboldened, thinking, you know what? I look out there in America and I feel more free to think and to say and to act on these beliefs than we ever have in our lifetime. And you've seen that all over. And these groups, you know, thankfully you see also some uh, some uh, protest groups. So bear in mind, not everyone you saw in those pictures is a white supremacist. Some of them are working against it. So that is uh, definitely a good thing. And what's amazing is I wanna, I wanna mention something that, a point that Brooke had made on Monday when we were talking about a similar topic. It's that this explosion of hate groups has happened while Donald Trump has been president. A powerful president because he has been not shy at all about using things like executive powers and national emergency declarations. So they have the presidency. They've gotten two Supreme Court justices. They control the Supreme Court. They control the Senate up until very recently, and you know uh, the entirety of the time in this study, they controlled the Congress as well. And even though they control the governorships and state legislatures and all of the federal government, they still feel like no. It's all these groups, they control the power, they have the power behind the scenes. This whole myth of the deep state was designed to allow you to be anti-government while controlling all of the government. And so under Barack Obama, when it looked like libs were taken over, you had an explosion of hate groups. Under Donald Trump, when the conservatives literally control virtually everything, you have an explosion of hate groups. They have figured out a way to have their hate and eat it too. And so at this point, I don't know what the solution is. If we get a great progressive, Will that not just cause more white supremacy and more like, oh God, they're coming in and they're taking everything? If they get Don Jr. next time, is he gonna play on these things? Is there any solution? I think that there are solutions, but not while Donald Trump is president, because the other side of it, not just the rhetoric, but the policies, not only things like the Muslim ban, the building of the wall and everything, but remember that he has specifically defunded and destroyed organizations inside of the FBI and other groups that are designed to look into these sorts of extremist groups, to try to stop them from organizing and radicalizing more and more people. He has tried to set the stage for exactly this explosion of hate groups that you're seeing in that report. And now the question is, what will come from all those groups? When you have more than a thousand of these groups operating throughout the US, how much faith do you have that they will not be successful in their goals, whether political or violent? Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.